passed or so on? The government saying we won't sit until August is frankly ridiculous. It's ridiculous and it's offensive and it sends a message to every Australian that we see no need to update the law or to hold the government accountable while Australians are going through the biggest crisis of their lives. It is an absurd, arrogant decision from the government and can I tell you, they are going to need to revisit it. What went through on Monday, we supported but because, it, because it was urgent. But they have not got that project right. And what you're seeing around the country with, with closed doors and Centrelink queues, the crises that you're seeing, tells you that they need to come back. The sooner they do it, the sooner we get back to that parliament to fix these challenges, then the fewer Australians are going to be thrown out of the workforce. So can you do it though without to come back can you do it while so, self isolating? No, no, well, right at the moment, all we need, because there was a standing order change that we made, so that all we need is a quorum, which is 31 members, and we're going to be able to sit. That's all we need. Now, it is almost impossible with the current isolation rules to imagine that we won't be able to get 31 people to Canberra. Now, if we ended up with a situation where we did have to go to some sort of break glass other option. The flexibility is there, we put that through the parliament, but I've got to tell you, at this stage we don't expect that we'll need to use that. What we need to do, and what we can do, is meet in the normal way, we only need 31 people there, and we need to do it soon, because the government has not yet got, gotten this right, and once people lose their jobs during the crisis, at the other end of this, it is much harder for them and much harder for their bus the businesses that employed them.